Hello, I am back with my next Let's Play, and this one is the Not So Berry Challenge, which is, you know, extremely popular. Um, I've seen like a million of these challenges, and I was like, I need to get in on this. But really, um, I wanted to do this, and I am actually playing, you know, a version that's kind of extended. So this might actually go beyond the typical 10 uh, generation legacy challenge. Uh, it'll definitely depend on how I'm feeling or maybe I don't know if I'll pick it up again after 10 or not or maybe I'll just keep going because I love it so much but um, this is my founder sim her name is Trixie Berry which I felt was very fitting considering that the very first level of this challenge is called you know the mint uh, generation so you can see here that she has her hair is mint colored and you know, this particular generation is trying to max out like the science career and they're also extremely mischievous, which is why Trixie was a name I gravitated towards. Um, so the fun thing is that I actually created a mod to help me keep track of this because I realize, you know, when I'm playing these legacy challenges, I often have to exit out of the game or, you know, close the window and then go and look at the rules and everything and I was like I don't really want to do that I just want to kind of keep up with it in game so I created this um, aspiration and this is a not so berry mint aspiration and it combines the chief of mischief aspiration which you have to complete anyway in order to consider this first generation complete it combines that with some of the other goals that are in this particular level so um for instance you know these first two are part of the chief of mischief aspiration but these next two are just kind of lead-ins for the final max goal which is to max out the scientist career max out the logic skill and i'm just gonna open this up real quick because each one of these had to um, have four different goals to achieve little subtasks so that this overall mint generation would be complete. The final level um, is, you know, complete the elements collection, max the scientist career, max the logic skill, and max the mischief skill. And everything in here is helping us to achieve those goals. Um, I think I need to change this. I don't think you have to perform voodoo 50 times. I think it's something like five times. So I will be updating that. But um, by the time this is uploaded, hopefully I will have it up on Patreon so that other people can download it as well because playing these challenges is very fun and I feel like it is way more fun when you don't have to break your immersion by going to a website and checking to see how you're doing. It'll be all in game and I hope to continue to do this with other challenges. So for now, um, this is Trixie and I am just starting. Um, I'm actually playing, a, I think it's Rat Boy, uh, that save file. I thought that it was very detailed. I liked the houses. I saw it, it on another YouTube channel and I really wanted to play it. So right now, you know, she picked a home in Willow Creek that is fully furnished, very nice. You know, here we have our kitchen here. Um, it's got a lot of, you know, kind of cheap objects. For that, which is what she needs because she's not making money yet. We have our living room here with the computer, a little bit of decor. We have the dining room over here. And then back here, we have our bedroom, which is pretty spacious, very nice. And last but not least, I got to take you guys to the bathroom. Um, we have this bathroom. We have uh, the shower here. If I can just get the camera to work with me. We have the shower and then, you know, the toilet and the sink and everything. So that is what we are working with. As you can see, this costs exactly $20,000. So she is like broke, broke. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Right now, th this is who she is. I have Lumpanoo's Relationships and Wellness Mod. Um, she's neutral about having children. I'm going to actually set this so it can change over time. I'm going to let fate decide. And then she is attracted to feminine sims. So we will definitely make sure, you know, at some point she gets a girlfriend. But for now, there are two things I want to do. 
I want to let her thoughts on having children change over time because that's just how I like to play. And additionally, I'd like to have her publicly come out. I don't want it to be a secret. We don't do secrets, at least not for this. But yeah, Trixie is about to start living her life. Huh. All right, so we have everything all squared away. I'm just gonna go ahead and get her started on her goals and her life. It's kind of nice, you know, she has her whole life ahead of her. And I have so many mods installed. I'm gonna try my best to make sure that I talk about them. But um, also, if you have any questions, I can try to answer them in the comments section. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let her find a job so she can get started on the science career. All right, so I'm gonna choose scientist. Calling all brains, are you the nerdy type who aspires to one day wear tin foil on your head and dedicate, decorate your studio with huge bubbly tanks? A scientist who proves they've got the gray matter to change the world as we know it can unlock new outfits like the UFO hunter or objects like a swanky chemistry lab for concocting new inventions and serums. And this is gonna start her off at $12 an hour from 10 to 7, and she's gonna have like the regular Monday through Friday work schedule. I hope that she feels extra fulfilled. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, <laughs> cause there's so much depth that can be added to this game. I gave her quite a few likes and dislikes just based off of you know what I thought her personality would be. Um, so she has a lot of stuff going on. And some of this stuff I think was Maybe, maybe I chose everything. I think I did choose everything. Um, so yeah, now that she has a job, she's super excited to go ahead and get started with learning her skills. So I'm gonna take her to this really great community space where she can start working on her logic and maybe meet some new sims as well. All right, it looks like we're dealing with a hot day because Trixie is all decked out in her it's a hot girl summer outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's take a look around real quick. Let's see who's here. This guy's here, I don't know his name. This is Bahar Roy. I'm just gonna come in here and I wanna join his chess game. What? Okay, I wanna play chess and maybe he can join me. She has her little perky walk, I love it. But yes, yeah, she is always focused and she is so excited to be meeting someone new in this new town. She's like, hello, let's give him a respectful introduction. Oh. Okay, well, it just reset my sims. All right, I'll start out. We're doing a restart. I'm, I'm gonna start out giving a respectful introduction. Um. She's really good at chess, I think, but she always likes to have a cordial attitude when playing. So <laughs> I guess it wasn't his game to play. We're gonna, we talked to him and we're gonna also say hello to Hallie Hampton. She's just a teenager. So yeah, we have a conversation going on with these people. I'm just gonna go ahead and start a game with Hallie Hampton. And it looks like, you know, they get along really well. They have the, uh, you know, the positive compatibility. Him, not so much. I want to actually check that out. With Hallie, it looks like they have good compatibility. With him, it looks like they have bad compatibility. So that's actually really great because one of her... One of her aspiration yeah, tasks is to be disliked by two sims, and then she also has to perform some mean or mischievous interactions. And I definitely think that since they have bad compatibility already, you know, she probably is kind of thrilled to get under his skin. He loves her the wrong way. Let's see what we can do right now. Oh, he left. Okay. We'll see. We'll catch him around. Callie is like, I want your, I want your number. You're so cool. I love your hair. And meanwhile, 
Trixie's just like, I'm about to win this mm. game. I'm going to let her sure. talk. She's really sweet. Mm. But I think I huh. think I might be able to huh. win this one. Oh. Let's see how this ends up. Let's let's try to like uh use our psychology psychology skills on her. Let's attempt to psychoanalyze. She's gonna be like, you're a scientist and you know how to psychoanalyze people? You must be a genius. And as a matter of fact, she is a genius. Back here we have, who is this? This is Cassandra Goth being weird. <laughs> I want her to kind of be friends with Cassandra, but I don't want her to just have a bunch of teenage friends. That might be a little weird. Looks like these two are getting along well. I don't know what he's doing back there. All right. He doesn't like it when I play chess for some reason, but that's not stopping her from getting her logic skill up. So I, you know, she's got two logic skill points. Where is, is Bahar still here? I guess I could just do the do it the simple way no he's not still here so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure she gets that last logic skill point let me go ahead and just get her a quick snack so she's not starving okay um she's since she's a vegetarian i'm gonna get her veggie pizza roll up Ha! Never mind. She is like legit broke. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do about this. Maybe she should sing and earn tips. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna let her continue playing and we're gonna go after this. We're gonna go try to find like is there a bush while she's playing that? I'm about to go look for some food. Like, is there some kind of strawberry or something that we can grab? There has to be something. All right. I've searched the perimeter. I don't see anything. We have this guy who came up and introduced himself, and he has a crush on us, but we're not into him like that. Uh-oh, he's angry. Is he going to get mad because she's not into him? She's being mischievous. What is... Oh, he's the one being Steve, uh, okay. She's a she does not uh, care for this. I guess she likes it to only go one way, where she's the one starting mischief. So let's go ahead and let's give him some fake bad news. Is he gonna talk to us anymore? This game is chaotic. Let us uh, let's give him some fake bad news. Tell him his hairline's receding or something. What else can we tell this guy? Let us lie about our career. You know, instead of us being a scientist, we're actually a chess master, and he should probably mind his own business because he's going to lose the game if he tries to play chess against us. And since he's angry, he has a bad attitude. We're going to keep deceiving him. We're going to start a rumor about him. He just came up here angry. Now he's embarrassed. He's letting his ego get in his way because he thought he saw a cute girl. And let's just, like, argue with him because we're bored. And she's playing chess. She's bored. Let's argue about his career. He lied about being a criminal mastermind earlier, so... She can be like, I know damn well you're not a criminal mastermind. Like, you really did not need to lie about that. Um, it makes me want to lie about things. <laughs> I didn't realize this is Jeffrey Landgrab. Oh, my God. All right. Let's get, let's get, uh, let's get our final logic skill. And then let's just keep making Jeffrey 
land grab feel dumb because that's entertaining. Is he gonna leave? No, oh, we're gonna keep arguing. That's good. Let's let's make a pet shoot if we do a petty jab okay she's got level three let's do a petty jab at him and i don't know <laughs> cassandra's over here listening she's like i'm pretending to paint but this is drama he's like i regret coming over here she's very bold and she's not you know, she's not someone to just come over and mess with. Even though she likes messing with people, um, she, when she's focused, she doesn't like it when people come over and try to, like, take her focus away. So, Jeffrey Landgrab is about to really dislike her. And that's exactly what we want because that is one of the things she has to achieve for this particular Sub sub level of the mid generation. So I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep bothering him. He's mad. He's a little intimidated. Let's call him a smitch. <laughs> She's being kind of mean to him, but I don't know. It's day one. I don't. I don't know. Like, I guess she's hangry too. She hasn't really eaten. Let's argue about his career since he lied about it. She's like, I know that you're not a criminal. You don't have criminal. Um, you don't have the criminal essence. Like, you seem like you don't do anything. Does your wife? do all the stuff because you seem like you don't do anything i mean come on you're wearing you're wearing this you're not stylish you got that polo and khaki swag i know how criminals dress <laughs> i bet that nancy's cheating on you that's what she's gonna tell him and that's gonna really hopefully send him over the edge Oh, and she's getting pissed off as well. They, <laughs> she feels like she's not really getting anywhere. She's like, I need to take a seat. Her needs are like in the gutter, but I need to get him to really dislike her. So let, let's just, let's invite him to a fake party. This is really going to piss him off. Does he believe her? That Nancy's cheating? Uh, maybe Nancy. Trixie has planted the seed of distrust and Jeffrey's relationship with their partner has suffered. Now is the perfect time to make your move or was breaking up a happy home just fun? Oh my God. <laughs> and it sucks too because he's a good sim and they have amazing compat compatibility. But she... <laughs> He made her mad. Just the sight of Jeffrey gets on Trixie's nerves these days. Like, how dare Jeffrey show his face? And he's a good Sam. Like, maybe at some point they can make up. But for now, things are awkward. He's mad. She's mad. She's hungry. Let's provoke Kim, him because she's really just hungry and tired at this point. And she's kind of getting worried. She thought she could make something happen. And yeah, this is actually her just kind of taking it too far. But um, before she can just be a, our cute little mischievous scientist, she has to go through this phase where she has it rough and she's not, she's just not really willing to deal with anything right now. Oh, she tried to throw a drink at him and it didn't work. Let's see, is there a level of dislike yet? Nope. I wonder if I make them fight. <laughs> this is not good behavior. This is not a good behavior. I'm gonna impersonate a, mer a mermaid. It's so weird, it'll probably annoy him. And yes, I definitely am going to get her some food somehow. 
Zombo Skiba? If this doesn't, if this doesn't. Okay, this did something. This gave us another level of mischief. I'm gonna go ahead and make her fight. Even though she's in front of her, like, new kind of friend. Oh, she left. She didn't want to see this drama. Oh, well, now they dislike each other. And I know that I have had trouble with this be disliked by two Sims thing. It usually takes a reload, but now they definitely don't like each other. And I'm going to go home and see if I can find her some food. She's going through it. It's 2.38 a.m. I cannot believe I sat here and did all this. Okay, well, I'm going to go home and see if I can get her to get some shut-eye. <laughs> uh. We are back at our humble abode, and we are not happy. All right. I'm gonna have to really make sure I do something about all of this. Does she have anything at all? Does she have earbuds? She has tampons, but I can't really sell those. Um, she doesn't have like those earbuds that come with the game. Really, if I have to sell anything, it'll be that basketball. She doesn't really like basketball like that. Let's have a quick meal maybe. She can have water. All right, so we're selling the basketball. We have $12. She doesn't really care for sports. And now we can eat before we go to work. And I'm gonna get her something. What does she want? She is a vegetarian and I really need to keep that in mind. I'm gonna probably just keep saying it because um, I often forget and I've gotten her sick. I mean, I have like another save file where I'm playing her too just for the fun, but um, I got her sick before, so this is a vegetarian safe option and it's cheap. Let's give her a yummy peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That is the go-to meal for when you're hungry and tired and you just need to put something in your stomach that is good. And we're gonna go to sleep after this. I'm gonna make all the lights, auto lights, and just keep this one on, so. See you when she wakes up. All right, it is time for her to get up. Work's about to start. She still has $5 and she's hungry, so I'm gonna try to get her another quick meal before she actually has to go in to work, which, you know, we're gonna be joining her for that. But let's see, what can she afford? Yogurt, that is a vegetarian safe option and it's even more cheap than a PB&J, so. She's all ready to go. She's like, I am ready for work. And yeah, it's almost 10, so. I'm gonna change this so that she doesn't try to wash dishes in her bathroom sink. Oh, too late. All right, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and join her. All right, she's now at the science lab, Future Sims Science Lab, and daily experimentation seems to be what we're doing today. Welcome to Future Sim Labs. You'll be quite busy conducting essential experiments, researching new technology, and maybe even interacting with alien life. It is your job to leverage potent. Oh, sorry, it is your job to leverage potent scientific equipment for the purposes of good. We hope. <laughs> well, welcome. All right. Um, look at how great she looks in her career uniform. She's very determined. I'm loving this. Um, yeah, have first breakthrough is something we definitely want. And let's go ahead and see who our coworkers are. We have, I don't know if I'm going to say this right. I think it's Sign Hartman, young adult. We have Biu Zhao. And then, of course, we have Trixie. And I'm sure there are more people in there, but we're just going to kind of get started. All right. We have Biu. All right. I'm going to go here to another lab technician and ask her for a crystal. I'm going to give her all of her introductions, I think, or most. Oh. I, I should never say all. They're going to be respectful. I feel like she's that kind of thing. Oh, this person's in a bad mood. I wonder how they're going to get along. 
She already has one Sim who doesn't really care for her. Oh, oh she doesn't I... like her. They don't like each other already. Okay, I guess it's just a sentiment on her coworker's behalf. She is not happy. Did she stink? Did she tell her she smelled bad? I think she did. Festering grudge. Trixie has a deep-seated grudge against Sign. I don't know why I called her Signy. Sign. It's hard to make. It's hard to forget or forgive the past, which may make being around Sign feel very unpleasant for Trixie. Wow. Okay then. Like, look at this. <laughs> This is actually a pretty good picture. This is funny. Um, all right, they don't like each other. So I feel like she's gonna try to get under this person's skin. I'm gonna go ahead and ask her for a crystal. Vula uh, Shaka. I think I may pull a mighty bow. Oh my gosh, she won't do it. All right, I feel like this is really, they, they're, she's mean. Sign is mean. I'm gonna make her go ahead and be mean back. Let's insult her hygiene again. Just cause it's her first day at work, doesn't mean that you get to be the mean girl. She's going to, she's going to really probably enjoy this. Let's instill her with false confidence. Let's just go a little crazy with this. Let's get her to dislike us. Claim to be a criminal mastermind. How edgy. Everything's gonna annoy her too because she's oh, just in a bad snurb. mood. So. Look at how pissed she is. She's like, I don't know, are you? <laughs> she's like, this girl's a little weird. Maybe I should be nice to her. Petty jab. Oh my gosh, this is just doing it by itself now. Pretend to fire. I love this. Be insulted. Let's give her let's give her fake bad news. Let's no, we can't just stop here. This is too much fun. Um, there's work, uh -huh. but then there is annoying our coworker, and I'm having fun annoying our coworker. I don't know why she would impersonate mermaids, Dwee. but that is gonna absolutely <laughs> piss this film off. Let's argue about politics. They're insulting each other. Like I really don't have to do much because I guess Sign is angry. They. they Looks like Trixie has not been getting along with a particularly argumentative sim. Argumentative sims are not afraid to be a bit mean when the situation calls for it and tend to be angrier overall. This can often rub other sims the wrong way. In terms of sim preferences, would you say that Trixie dislikes argumentative sims? Absolutely. I feel like she likes to joke around and have a good time. But if you have a bad attitude or you annoy her in some way she can quickly turn you into the joke and i feel like you know sometimes trixie can take it a little too far but um sign definitely you know she she kind of started this one she she had a bad attitude before we really even walked into the building so i'm gonna click yes for this we don't like each other we're not compatible we have bad compatibility and I'm, she's sick of signs bs She's like, signs like, I don't want to be judged. Too late. Oh, we can't, we can insult her work ethic. We can be like, you, you treat people who just joined the company like this? You're awful. You're not even that far above me. Let's spoil the latest episode of her show. She's like, oh, I've already seen that. And this is what happens at the end. Your favorite character dies. And I know that I like when I reload the game, um, this be disliked by Sims, I think, will. Interesting, it, it noted it for her, but it didn't note it for Jeffrey. Um, 
And maybe that's because, you know, Jeffrey doesn't actually have the disliked thing for some reason. Um, I don't know why that is, but I feel like if their relationship, what is it? It's negative 100 friendship. I really feel like that counts as dislike. And I, you know what? I, I actually read a thread on this. This is how it is. It's not, it's not just my, like, mod. This is how it is for the actual Chief of Mischief thing. I hope this isn't considered cheating because I don't want to be a cheater. But I feel like I'm going to go ahead and mark this as complete just because she, she, I mean, Jeffrey doesn't like her. <laughs> she is already disliked by two Sims. Like, this isn't good. They don't like each other. But maybe it's because Jeffrey is considered a good Sim. I don't know. But even good Sims can dislike people. Um, I'm going to mark that complete. And I'm going to let her go ahead and actually get to work. Like, we, we're just going to, um, I'm going to do a brush off. We're going to brush her off. She's like, you aren't worth my time. I'm going to get a promotion. I'm going to be your boss. And, yeah, like, just don't talk to me <laughs> at all. Uh-uh. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, just don't talk to me. You're lame. So, no. Let's just walk away. We can experiment on the chemistry lab. Where is that? Let's come over here and experiment because now... Now we have a reason to just kill it at work. We have to get promoted. We don't need sign to be our friend. We're just gonna kill it. She's wasted all this time. We still have about six hours though, so we can do this. I didn't know working out on the treadmill was an actual task. All right, brainstorm. Yes, I like this thing because it's so weird. I'm gonna go ahead and have her brainstorm. And you know, the very first time I ever attempted this challenge, I didn't realize that you could come back here and get different elements. And that's very important because further down here, you have to complete the elements collection. And for me, it was really hard. So once she's done brainstorming, I'm just gonna have her come here and dig for these. And that way she'll also be able to sell whatever she doesn't use. Okay, she's acquired some spare parts. Like this is really good. This is gonna help her make money. Oh no, she wants to discuss work with sign. Why do you wanna do that? <laughs> Maybe she has to do it. Maybe she's obligated to do it. I want her to have a breakthrough. I guess we'll go find sign. Like maybe, maybe she wants to annoy her. I don't know, but I'll go ahead and get started. This nut job won't get the best of us. Gorsoy. Let's get this over with. Like, she's PMSing. To... We're not gonna be friends. This is just some chit chat. Alright, we did it. Let's go ahead and work out for 30 minutes. Signs like, watch and learn. Watch and learn, sign. Yeah, you feel bad? That's because you just made the worst mistake ever. Our girl is going to... She's not going to fall. Benefi, sick of food. Who is this? Ashi. Cletus? <laughs> we should be friends with Cletus, maybe. Who farted? Somebody farted. Oh my god, I think she's about to have her first breakthrough. I think she can do this. Ugh. All right, we're going to take a thoughtful shower, and that should definitely give us an edge. Yeah, we're done. We've worked out. 
I don't think she's a big oh, fan of working so, so, out. Yumba. To make sure I don't show her nudity. I thought I turned that off. My bad. Um, but she did have her first breakthrough. She's taking a thoughtful shower. I don't know if she'll have time for anything else, but we can try to invent. Let's use the microscope. Ugh, never mind. It's already being used. Uh, we'll try to invent the momentum conserver. Oh, she's up there showering. She had a second breakthrough, so she is now eligible for promotion. All right, we did it. We have made $108, and she did a good job today. Discoveries in industrial science were made of plenty. She would have done better, but Sign thought that she could just run over the new girl at work, and Trixie was like, no, I absolutely am not having that. I want you to know that you need to watch out for me, all right? Because I will embarrass you at the team party. So we're back home. It's beginning to rain, but she's super focused. She's happy that she got her second scientific breakthrough. And now she has $84. Let's see what she has that she can sell. We're going to open up. I really don't want her to sell her collectibles because I think that maybe she can use those for... Um, well, she can use that. There's an additional goal for the mint challenge. And if she is able to complete this, I do want to try to see if I can get that additional goal up and working. So that'll be like a second aspiration, even though it looks like it might be a little bit harder to make. Um, but I think that she will be good selling these salvage parts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just get her some money that way. And I do have Carl Gameplay's Carl's gameplay overhaul installed so that's why when she's making these sales she may not get the full amount that's shown so now her main thing is to get to level three of the scientist career that is going to be my absolute main focus that and maybe getting her an umbrella maybe next time we start up the game that'll be like the very first thing I do, getting her an umbrella. Mm -hmm. Regards, have you heard? Okay, this is another mod. I'm just gonna tell them not to call me anymore. We need to do our dishes. Jeffrey Landgrab just called us and said, Hey, Trixie, you're so notorious that one of my unscrupulous friends has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Jeffrey, you know how I feel about you. I don't know how you even got my number, but give, give your friend my number. Like, maybe we can get into something together. Whatever. I guess I have a bad reputation. That's terrible. We're going to turn that around. She's a good person. Maybe not as good as Jeffrey, but she's good. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to disable dishwashing here. So even though it's only 9 p.m. and she's a night owl, she's pretty tired. I'm going to get her to take a nap. She likes taking naps. Something she enjoys. Yes. She's a notorious napper. And before she goes to bed for good, I'm going to just make her, you know, cause some mischief by trolling the forums. She does need to eventually reach the top level of the mischief skill so it's something i'm going to continue to do and you know she do, does need to use a computer to cause mischief three times on the next level so um i guess she's kind of getting ready for that well the higher we get this skill the better it's just gonna make things easier down their line All right, it is late and she has reached the third level of the mischief skill, so 
Time for us to go to bed. All right. She woke up this morning happy. I saw two little negative signs above her head because I guess she just woke up disliking someone even more than she did the day before. And it is the 4th of July, so she really doesn't work today, which kind of sucks because she needs the money. But at the same time, this gives her a great opportunity to go out and meet someone new. And this is where I'm going to end it because for now, she is killing it with her career. She's killing with her goals. And I can't wait to see what's next. Um, I'm going to try to edit some of the settings so that like nudity doesn't show up and everything. But thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas on what should happen next, please let me know. She is a silly sim who is kind of geeky, and I really am enjoying playing with her. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.